Hey guys, thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel or coming to visit me for the first time. My name's Charlotte Snowball and if you haven't already done so, please make sure you subscribe. As you can see, I'm having a really bad hair day, so I just shoved it up in a little messy bun. But let's begin. So today's video is about minimalism during the Christmas period. Now, Christmas in inverted commas because you may not even celebrate Christmas. So take it as gift giving for birthdays or other things like that as well. I have always found receiving gifts a little awkward, especially if you don't know that person very well and they weren't too sure what to get you. Because realistically, what if you really don't like the gift they've given you? Now, I'm an actress and I'm pretty good at faking a lot of stuff, but this has never been one of the things I've been able to fake, gift giving. So how do you deal with those people who are really persistent in buying you something? Or what do you get somebody else that's more thoughtful and more meaningful than you did last year? Try to avoid physical gifts, especially things that people don't even need or maybe even want. Like a new mug or bath stuff. These are things that people can buy for themselves all year round when they desperately need it. So instead, be more thoughtful and get somebody an experience that you can share together. Whether it be flights for a city break, concert tickets, theatre tickets, or just a promise that one day in the next year, we will go stargazing together. But if you don't know somebody well enough to go and watch a romantic sunset together, get them something that can be consumed, like Prosecco or chocolate or coffee. Everybody loves coffee. Also, avoid holiday sales like Black Friday. Not only are these days super dangerous and you may get stamped on or punched in the face, you don't actually need what they are selling and the deals aren't even that good. It's just a way to lure you into the door and spend your hard-earned cash on more rubbish you don't need because the next person has it and because that woman over there wants it you can fight her for it and that means you achieved something by getting it but really you probably got like 10 pounds off even if they're telling you you've got 150 pounds off you don't another great gift is to gift your time last year on christmas day a group of us went out in barcelona and gave food water jumpers clothing, blankets to the homeless. I think we managed to feed about 250 people, but it was the most rewarding Christmas gift I have ever received. It was such hard work and took so much planning, but to see how grateful these people were who had nothing and who were really lonely on Christmas day was such an amazing gift. So this year, maybe help out in a soup kitchen or Donate gloves and socks to a homeless shelter, or even if you see somebody begging on Christmas Day, sit down with them, take five minutes of your time, and just chat about anything. So this Christmas, when somebody asks you what you want, tell them something you really need. And the majority of the time, there's nothing you really need because we have everything. So ask them to donate money to a charity on your behalf. This will feel so much better than a £10 token for boots. And remember that gift giving isn't a language of love. You don't show someone how much they mean to you by how big or shiny your gift is. We are a society of consumers of love. But the truth is, buying someone a new watch or a new pair of shoes is an evidence of commitment. Trust and being truly devoted to somebody is. So this Christmas, don't feel obliged to get somebody a materialistic thing. Remember that love isn't a transaction. Do something for that person that says, I really love you or I really care for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and I hope this gets to you before you start spending your hard-earned cash on materialistic possessions. Make sure you subscribe, give the video the thumbs up if you haven't done already. I hope you've liked it. And... Remember to be the change that you wish to see in the world.